In this video, we will be discussing a topic from set theory and uh, the subtopic will be uh, solving uh, simple word problems involving set theory. Now, starting from a question, uh, there are 30 pupils in a class and uh, three of them do not take any language. 15 pupils take French and 19 pupils take German. How many pupils take both French and German? Now, drawing a Venn diagram, first of all, draw this rectangle which represents universal set. Then, because we are talking about uh, French language and German language, draw two circles. One of the circle is a set representing French language, and the other circle will represent German language. Because the circles are overlapping, as they have asked you how many pupils take both French and German, so that means there must be some overlapping part, a part where the students will be having French as well as German. So this overlapping part is a part where, uh, which is a part of French as well as this overlapping part is a part of German language as well. Now, we have been given the information that uh, 15 pupils take French and 19 pupils take German. We have to start from here the intersection part to, uh, to fill this Venn diagram. Now in this intersection part, a part uh, which belongs to both French and German, a part where the students will be studying both French and German. Now this part is not known. Mean the value how many students are in this part who are studying both French and German. We don't know the strength or the number of students in this part. So when we don't know the number of students in this part, take it as X. Let that the students studying German and French are X. Now if this is X, if this part is X, then this complete circle, which is a circle that is representing French. And in French circle or in this part, total number of students are 15 in this complete circle as given in the question, 15 French. Now, because this section is separated, now this section, which is overlapping part, is having students X. Now, the rest of the section will be obtained when you will subtract this part from total students belonging to this section or studying French. If this is X, then this part will be 15 minus this part, which is X. Similarly, in the German language is studied by 19 pupils. This circle is representing German language. And in total, we have 19 students over here, but because some of the students are studying German language as well as French language. So we don't know their quantity or their number. So we have assumed that X students are studying German as well as French. Now, the rest of the students who are studying only German are in this part, which is not overlapping. Now, if some of the students are studying German language along with French, then the students who are studying only German are 19, which are total students studying German, minus those who are studying German along with French. So, 19 minus X will give you those students who are studying only German language, this part. And three of the students are those who are not studying French as well as German. So they will not be part of French circle and German circle. They will be a German language circle. They will be out of these two circles, but within the rectangle because they are part of universal. Now, because total strength of the pupils are 30. Now, as we know that all the students inside this rectangle, including these two circles must add up to 30 because we have total strength equal to 30. Now, adding them 15 minus X, the students who are studying only French plus X, the student who are studying both French and German plus 19 minus X, 
द स्टूडेंट हु आर ओनली स्टडिंग जर्मन प्लस थ्री द स्टूडेंट हु आर स्टडिंग नन ऑफ फ्रेंच एंड जर्मन नो एडिंग ऑल ऑफ दैम विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विच आर थर्टी तो माइनस एक्स एंड प्लस एक्स विल बी कैंसल्ड ऑपोजिट साइंस सो दे आर कैंसल्ड फिफ्टीन प्लस नाइनटीन प्लस थ्री विल गिव यू थर्टी सेवन माइनस एक्स फ्रॉम हेयर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नो थर्टी सेवन अपॉन कमिंग ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ द इक्वेजन विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम थर्टी थर्टी माइनस थर्टी सेवन विल गिव यू माइनस सेवन सो माइनस एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन सो कैंसिलिंग द माइनस साइन ऑन बोथ साइड्स एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू सेवन नो फ्रॉम हेयर वी गॉट एक्स इक्वल टू सेवन मीन एक्स विच आर दोज स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टडिंग बोथ फ्रेंच एंड जर्मन दे आर सेवन इन नंबर नो बिकॉज एक्स इज सेवन सो हेयर यू आर गोइंग टू पुट सेवन स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग फ्रेंच एज वेल एज जर्मन बोथ लैंग्वेजेस नो दिस पार्ट विच द स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पार्ट आर स्टडिंग ओनली फ्रेंच दे आर फिफ्टीन माइनस सेवन सो फिफ्टीन माइनस सेवन बिकॉज एक्स इज सेवन फिफ्टीन माइनस सेवन विल गिव यू एट एट स्टूडेंट्स आर स्टडिंग फ्रेंच फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट नाइनटीन माइनस एक्स मीन नाइनटीन माइनस सेवन बिकॉज एक्स इज सेवन सो नाइनटीन माइनस सेवन विल गिव यू ट्वेल्व सो द स्टूडेंट्स स्टडिंग ओनली जर्मन आर ट्वेल्व इन नंबर एंड देन थ्री वर ऑब्वियसली आउटसाइड द सर्कल्स ऑफ फ्रेंच जर्मन दे आर नॉट स्टडिंग एनी वन ऑफ दैम नो इफ यू विल एड ऑल ऑफ दैम एट प्लस सेवन फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन प्लस थ्री एटीन एटीन प्लस ट्वेल्व थर्टी नो योर आंसर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी विच वॉज द टोटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द पीपल्स स्टडिंग लैंग्वेज एज वेल एज दोज हुआ नॉट सो योर आंसर इज करेक्ट नो इफ आई आस्क यू टू टेल मी द आंसर ऑफ एन एफ मीन नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स स्टडिंग फ्रेंच नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स स्टडिंग ओनली फ्रेंच हेयर इट शुड हैव बीन ओनली फ्रेंच only french language no they are eight in number those students who are studying only french number of students studying only german language one language they are 12 in number number of students who are studying both german language as well as french language they are seven in number this part so this is how you are going to solve a word problem related uh, the venn diagram moreover if uh, we want to know the number and stand for number of students studying both languages so there are seven that part in the second part where you will find the students studying both german and french language similarly number of students in f union g as you know f union g mean complete f and complete g so total students in complete f and g are 8 7 15 Fifteen plus ten twenty five and two twenty seven. So number of students in F union G, F union G are twenty seven. Number of students and stand for number of students in F intersection G mean the common part, the overlapping part are seven. And similarly, you can find number of students in F complement. F complement mean you will not include F. F will not be included. Like this, F will not be included. No, excluding F, F complement mean all the area other than F mean this outside area. In outside area other than F, we have twelve plus three fifteen students. So in number of students in F complement are twelve plus three fifteen. So in this way, you can solve word problems or Venn diagram. Keep watching. Thank you so much.